Knowledge in physics is essential for one to truly understand science. Physics is an amazing field as the origin of the universe is now much understood through the study of physics. The Department of Physics, University of Malaya, was established in 1961 to train students who wish to study physics comprehensively and to lead research in physics in Malaysia. I'm Wan Ahmad Tajuddin Wan Abdullah. We establish uh, particle physics activities here in University of Malaya about uh, five or six years ago. We started the particle physics group here about five, six years ago when we joined the Zeus uh, experiment in, the, in the DAISY in Germany. And uh, now we have uh, moved on to you know, uh, join other experiments as well. I'm Professor Zainal Abidin Ibrahim. I belong to the research group of the high energy particle physics in the physics department, University of Malaya. We are doing research in collaboration with uh, other uh, accelerators, namely in uh, Germany, uh, in Japan, and as well as in CERN. Uh, these uh, particle accelerators are very huge uh, instrument. Uh, we have uh, uh, particles being accelerated in the opposite direction, and when they collide, we have uh, new particles being uh, uh, given off. My, my part is to uh, be involved in the instrumentation of uh, these uh, detectors. Uh, my name is Sidik. Uh, I'm a PhD student in uh, Computational Physics Lab. My research uh, is twofold. I started off uh, as a person who studies um, complex systems. So I study how from micro phenomena we can get macro phenomena. So from the point of view of uh, small systems, right, micro systems that uh, are simple, uh, they interact with one another to get a phenomena that is not equal to the sum of its parts. Okay, I'm Anu Alias and I'm a PhD student in theoretical physics. I'm in, uh, working in the area, bigger area, in string and M theory. More spe specifically, I'm working in framework cosmology on the subject of uh, wormhole. Uh, this is very interesting subjects because uh, in, if you, we do a classical wormhole theory, like in general relativity, which I have done in when doing my master degree, uh, we have a problem of uh, what they call uh, exotic matter. Uh, the wormhole needs some kind of exotic matter, which is to expand, to expand it. So maybe in the M theory scenario or brain board scenario, the requirement of uh, uh, exotic matter is no more as a requirement. So we need, we can, it is maybe can be naturally produced by that. Uh, my name is Hafiz. I'm the uh, research assistant here in this lab, so the microprocessor lab. What we are doing is uh, to program uh, using uh, via the microchip. This is the microcontroller. We are using this as one of the method to uh, program uh, and to implement it to such as like this the robot. This one is using the microcontroller. So. The, the movement of this is all controlled by the microcontroller. So we control this uh, via the board here and connect it to the computer and do the programming. I am now trying to calculate um, excitation, excitation state properties uh, for a zinc oxide system. The way I want to do this is to um, do many body based uh, theory but taking into account the issue of phenomena. Besides that, I am also in charge of uh, 
teaching undergraduate uh, courses like programming. I also uh, guide new master students uh, in terms of how to uh, uh, perform uh, programming tasks or uh, administration tasks, especially concerning uh, Linux, concerning networking. In M theory, they uh, we you imagine a universe. Uh, our universe is like uh, just a, uh, a brain, which is a three plus one, uh, three 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 dimensional sp spatial uh, dimensional spatial spatial and one time dimension. So this uh, this is just a brain. This is what I call a brain, and it is inside what we call a book. So book is high dimension. So the the universe is is just uh, some uh, just analogically we can say uh, some uh, sheet of brain inside a book. So so to understand the brain more, we have to study what we call the extrinsic curvature of the brain. The extrinsic curvature of the brain. So when we study the extrinsic curvature of the brain, we can. Uh, Manipulate the, the 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 curvature of the brain, and uh, for example, in terms of we want to do the problem of wormhole, we can calculate. Uh, we can start from this equation, which is uh, what they call the acid curvature. U and so this is uh, acid curvature. We can we can manipulate from that. We can we. We, we can get the uh, initial general equation of the wormhole. Uh, the most interesting part is uh, we are playing with uh, the chips, the capacitors and the resistor here. So when we combine all of this together, we can create something new, uh, which is a very interesting. Um, we can create the analog to digital converter uh, for the basics, uh, digital to analog, the MP3 player and such. So it depends on the microchip here. This lab, uh, the purpose of this lab is to uh, program and to create something new uh, for the students. I'm really proud to be one member of this lab. In fact, I am conducting the research in both philosophy and physics under the supervisions of Prof. Van Ahmad and Prof. Mohd Hazimshah at University of Malaya. The major is about the uh, universal consciousness, cognition of the universal consciousness which uh, governing the uh, universe. Uh, due to my uh, mystical background in Iran, uh, I, I firmly believed in it. There is some kind of consciousness behind of the, uh, any entities in the world, any particles, even photons, electrons. Actually, uh, I am the uh, member of a group, Interuniversalism, in my country, in Iran, which, uh, which, um, which was founded by uh, Dr. Muhammad Ali Tahiri. I very hope to, uh, to have a scientific approach to fulfill this proposal about the consciousness because uh, this consciousness makes the universe uh, very harmonious and purposeful. I hope to, uh, to introduce this, this element, this metaphysical element uh, to the uh, world. Why do we do particle physics? Um, well, yeah, we want to know the you know, basic laws of nature, what the universe is made up of, and I think that's a, human, that's, a, that's a human yearning that we want to understand uh, why we are here, how we are here, you know. Uh, so that's why it's worth uh, to spend this millions of bring it on for the My first degree is uh, is not physics my first degree is electrical engineering
but I want I love physics, so I the second uh, the, for, I, I I took all kind of uh, uh, subject in physics and I do master degree in physics. As a profession, I am an engineer at an automotive company. Uh, what I can say that when we work in um, as a, a theoretical physics, a theoretical physicist, we we deal with a lot of mathematics. So the advantage of being an engineer, which is have gone through some kind of some uh, heavy mathematics like in theoretical physics, we can handle all kind of engineering in 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 uh, in, in engineering world. We can be very flexible. We want to tackle mechanical engineering. It is not that. It is not. It's not that very. It's not that uh, tough compared to, for example, we handling uh, quantum mechanics or quantum field theory. For example, we can handle mechanical engineering just as classical mechanics. So, if we take electrical electrical engineering, we have our, in our background electromagnetic. We have gone through more deeper than electromagnetic, which is like quantum electrodynamics. So, in the uh, electrical engineering, we can just. Uh, deal with classical area which is electromagnetic and all the circuit diagrams all those circuits uh, electronics we can handle that so being a theoretical physicist and then, then at the same time engineer you you can be a very versatile engineer you can be any any you can tackle any kind of problems in engineering so in, in, in my company I'm in the in the field of research pure research uh, I'll tell you about the experiment in the accelerator, we have uh, two particles, whether it is proton and proton, or uh, pro, uh, electron and positron, or, or uh, any mixture. So when they collide, so we have other particles being given off. That means we are using uh, one of the particles as the probe to uh, investigate the bigger particle. And when there is a collision, we have uh, uh, a lot of other uh, more elementary particles being given off and they are being uh, captured by the calorimeter, which is the detector for uh, this uh, experiment. In the detectors, uh, we are interested in uh, designing uh, various uh, parts of the calorimeter to uh, interact with uh, various particles. So we have uh, at the center, which is known as the center, uh, Central uh, Drift Chamber, CDC, which is being used uh, in most of the uh, accelerator uh, experiment. And in our case, uh, we are contributing in, the, in terms of uh, constructing a sample or, or a model that uh, can be used uh, in those uh, uh, bigger experiments. At the moment, uh, we in Malaysia, we are uh, involved in the, the um, CERN experiment uh, at the Large Hadron Collider, where they discovered the Higgs uh, a few months back. We are with the CMS uh, collaboration, um, uh, working on proton collisions at very high energies. Some of the things that we're looking, all, we're looking for are, for example, supersymmetric particles, you know, partners, supersymmetric partners to electrons, neutrinos and other things. We are also with the Bell 2 collaboration in Japan, uh, which is uh, looking at uh, trying to produce um, in the next few years uh, a trillion beauty particles. Also with the Comet uh, collaboration in Japan as well uh, to see if the muon actually decays to an electron and changes its flavour. We were of course uh, working with the Zeus experiment which has uh, stopped now since a few years uh, where electrons uh, collide with um, proton. In CERN, uh, we are collaborating with uh, the uh, CMS experiment uh, at uh, LHC, Large Hadron Collider. And uh, the CMS stands for uh, Compact Muon System, where we, uh, they concentrate on uh, detecting the muon, uh, part of the uh, elementary particle. Physics Laboratory aims to provide the best teaching in physics and to produce graduates who are authoritative in physics and also emphasizes on research activities in order to continue to excel and lead in this important field of science. 
With that, we welcome you to be a part of our community of scholars. Remember that the experiences and skills that you absorb will prepare you vastly in tackling your future challenges, whether in social life or working life. Next stop, uh, Ashraf. Uh, come on, Ashraf. Yeah. <laughs> 